Hi, Dustin Hockensmith here with another edition of your Philadelphia Eagles Blitz where we are guiding you through training camp and the preseason with some key storylines. We're a little bit less than a week into camp. To start with the storylines, we kick it to Penn Live beat reporter Daniel Gallon for the latest on car quarterback Carson Wentz, who is recovering from a knee injury, not quite 100% yet, but looking like his old self again. Hey Philadelphia Eagles fans, this is Penn Live Eagles beat writer Daniel Gallon coming to you live from South Philly. I uh, just wanted to recap you on the first couple days of training camp so far. Carson Wentz has looked really impressive in his return from a torn ACL and LCL, and it wouldn't be a surprise to see him out on the field week one against the Atlanta Falcons. Still, Coach Doug Peterson said that he wants to take it slow with Wentz, so it wouldn't be a surprise either to see Nick Foles start week one. Foles too has looked really sharp. On the whole, the Eagles, they look good. They're the Super Bowl champions. They return a lot of their key pieces, and a lot of those key pieces were really good players. So, so far through five days of practice, the Eagles look really good. If anything changes, we'll be sure to let you know. Feel free to follow along at www.penlive.com slash Philadelphia Eagles. All right, thank you, Daniel. Certainly Carson Wentz is the storyline to follow going through the rest of training camp. Will he or won't he be ready for week one? But I think the conversation goes a little bit deeper than that also. There's a more existential question being asked right now about Carson Wentz. Does he or does he not need to change his style for the sake of his health? He has vowed this training camp once again. He will not change his, his aggressive ways, and that's as a thrower and as a runner as well. So the question as you watch training camp in the preseason unfold, does he need to change his style? Will it change his effectiveness as a quarterback? We've heard from Carson Wentz. We will stay tuned throughout camp. Sticking with the offense for a second, it will be really interesting to see what Doug Peterson does with his running backs. LeGarrette Blunt is now a Detroit Lion, but I think the same mix and match approach could be in play this season. Jay Ajayi and Corey Clement look like probably your one and two guys there. There should be an interesting battle for the third spot and how many running backs the Eagles take on this roster to start week one. You look at Darren Sproles, Wendell Smallwood, Matt Jones, and the second year back, Danell Pumphrey, who is having a good camp a, a year after having a pretty brutal camp as a rookie. He's a guy to keep watching throughout, particularly his skill in the receiving game, which is starting to show itself a little bit more and maybe present a new wrinkle to the Eagles offense. And then defensively, the play of Sidney Jones, another second year player, can't be ignored to this point. He has looked really good and really crisp. Remember, he was a first round caliber prospect coming out of the NFL draft in 2017. The Eagles managed to scoop him up in the second round because he injured his knee during his pro day at Washington. He's looked so good so far to prompt an early tweet from Lewis Riddick, the ESPN analyst, who says this team could be scary good if the defensive back for the Eagles continue to look as good as they have so far. It is early and we will follow it every step of the way. You can follow us every step of the way here on your Philadelphia Eagles Blitz. We will see you next time.